Hello, hello, and welcome back to day 50 of my Reset 66 challenge. Today we are going to work on power and overall total body strength. So get into superhero mode. The first half of this workout will be all about power using ballistic exercises like the weighted jump squat and kettlebell swings. I've also included dumbbell variations of Olympic weightlifting movements such as the split jerk, clean, and high pull. We'll slow down during the second half with a large circuit of six strength exercises. So grab your dumbbells, click play, All follow right, me, and let's to get to 50. it. Thank you for joining me. Today we're working power and strength. So we're gonna be working a little bit um, lighter weight, not too heavy, but with, with a little bit of oomph, okay? A little stickiness. We're gonna make sure we have good control. That's really what we want on all of this. So if we see that control go, we need to lighten the load. Uh, weight wise, I have eights, tens, fifteens, and twenties. All right, a little bit of variety. And then a 30 pound and a, a booty band or hip band as well if you have one. And we'll get started on that. Let's go ahead and do some knee hugs. We're gonna move through this quickly. This is a 48 minute workout. Uh, knowing me, it probably will end up to be 50. <laughs> Just, you know, a little longer, but we could uh, split this workout into two different workouts just by taking it in half. So first half of this will be a little bit more of that power, swinging, cleans, jerks, those sort of things with dumbbells. And then we'll go into the strength, just focusing um, on weights and slowing down at that point. All right, good. Couple more knee hugs, walk around if you like. Good job, we're gonna do some high kicks now, okay? Kick and touch, that's it. If you want, you can cross that hand over. Whew. My hamstrings are not gonna lie. And you can walk this one out as well if you have space there. Kick, kick, good job. Just loosening up. Great job. Give me a couple more. All right, let's go ahead and go to a squat here. I want you to grab your toes, bring your bottom down, bring it up, keeping those hands on your feet, okay? Those fingertips on those toes. So uh, that forces you to kind of have to stretch the hamstrings. Otherwise I can straighten up and come off of those toes. Dip that back down. I want you to bring the right arm up, left arm up, come to stand. Ooh, good. Here we go. Back down. Touch the toes. Dip. Lift. Oh goodness. Dip. Right arm, left arm to stand. Nice work. Give me another one. Down. Up. Down. Right. Left to stand. Great job. Last one, down, up, down, right, left, stand, good. Give me some big circles forward. One, two, to 10, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna swing up onto those toes we're gonna stop on those toes and try to stick it. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna draw all that stomach in nice and tight, okay? Here we go, arms down by your side. I want you to swing up, stiffen up and tighten up. There you go, just like that. We gotta kind of pack our shoulders down, squeeze. You can squeeze in here, squeeze your bottom, squeeze your abs. Here we go. Up, up on those toes, stick, good. Back down, just practice. And I want you to swing hard. Like you wanna throw something way back behind you, but you're gonna stop it by tightening up. Race the core, draw that stomach back towards the spine. Good, that's it. Squeeze your bottom. You can tuck your chin a little, draw those shoulders down, squeeze in. That's it, the tighter we are here, the better we'll be able to stop that momentum. But I want you to really work on it. I don't want you to go up easy and stop. That's too easy. I want you to explode and quickly stop it. Good, give me three more. Three, two, woo, lost it on that one. And one, all right, great job. Down for a plank hold for me. Kneeling or toes, bring those elbows under your shoulders. Here we go, we're holding. I want you to squeeze the top of those thighs. Engage your glutes, your bum. Draw the stomach up and toward the spine. That's it, right under the navel. Think about pulling up and in. All right, we're gonna stay here for a few seconds holding this, maintaining this form. Good form, not letting it go. Even though we're breathing, we have to breathe. And I want you to let go of that drawing in here. 
kind of squeeze that we have going. Elbows under shoulders. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Let's make sure we're all on. <laughs> I make that mistake a lot, I'm sorry, I have to stop. Let's grab a quick sit. While we really don't have a lot of time, we're gonna start with this goblet lunge. We have three rounds here. We're just gonna keep moving. Grab some weight, bring it up you would in your squat. Give me a good squat here. We're gonna step back with that right leg, come down into a lunge, bring the weight down, and we're gonna slide it up so it's at our chest here, and give it a squat, all right? Reverse lunge with the weight down, slide it up into a goblet squat. Down, now, again, everything in here, when we work a couple things, hybrids, complex, or um, it's halfway, we gotta switch sides, here we go. Squat it out, left leg goes back into that squat, or lunge, sorry. Bring it up into a squat. It's a little clean there with one weight. This is great with a kettlebell if you have one, holding on to the horns. <sighs> Anyways, you could always break this down. Maybe this is too much. Just go to a reverse lunge here with a squat. That would be something to change it up, make it a little less complicated, and still work, okay? That's a rest, good job. Bring that weight to the side. I don't really need a sip of water. We're gonna go into a plyo push-up, frogger push-up. Here we go. If it's too much, just go to a push-up. Just work your push-up. Take it down to the simple form. Here we go. Feet out wide like a frog. And you're gonna come down and push. You might start high here. Kind of out in front, a little push off back. Some of us are gonna bend and go a little deeper. But we're just pushing off the floor there in this little frogger position. You can take your plyo to the wall with straight legs here, work a little push off the wall, or just work your push up. Three, two, and one. We have weighted jump squats. Those are no joke. Please don't do them if you're not there. Simply squat, raise up onto those toes. Squat, stick it up on the toes there, okay? That's all you're doing. Otherwise, you're jumping with me. You can use the weight, and you wanna drop down soft. So when you land, bent knees, really soft. I feel I'm in a coaching mood. Here we go. We're up and landing soft. And again, with weight, it's tough. You can just do this without weight today to get started if you wanna jump. And if you wanna use the weight, then go up onto those toes and back down. Options, modify. You do you, find your challenge. Three, two, and one, rest. Woo wee, all right, that's a round. We're going back to this two more times. If you need more rest here because of the heart rate, go ahead and take it, okay, pause. All right, here we go. We'll start up high in this goblet squat. We're gonna take that right leg back into a reverse lunge and bring the weight down. And then we're gonna pop it up here towards the chest and give it another goblet squat. Here we go, reverse lunge, and squat. That's it, changing that weight from low to high. Watch how I bring my elbows up in the weight and then just kind of flick it in the hands there, be careful. Here we go, other side. And remember that you can always opt to just do your reverse lunge to squat without this little clean in here, okay? That's it, catch it. And up into the squat. Heart rate's gonna go up with these. Good. Reverse, bring it up and down, rest. Great job. All right. Now, we're not doing a lot of rest. I will assume that most of us have lighter weight. If you're using heavier weight here and you need more rest, take it. Go ahead and pause. Frogger uh, push-ups here, plyo push-ups. Push off, there you go. Go as deep or as high or as shallow as you want here just to get that push off. And kind of flick at the wrist to push off. Look at my hands, it's like Spidey hands, Spider-Man. <laughs> Woo, that's it. Eight seconds. Three, two, and one. Oh, 
This is getting to me, but I'm loving it. <laughs> I've been needing this. Here we go, jump squats or squats to your toes. All right, any of this can be done without weight. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Good, everything is roughly 30 seconds on these uh, little power exercises. And remember, weighted jumps are not for someone who's just getting started. Getting your squat, a good sturdy squat, stable squat, and then going into jumps, body weight, and then learning to add weight. That's the process. Three, two, and one. So just know that, give yourself that out. If you need it, don't get hurt. All right, these are tough. We're going back to this again. Remember, keep your weight here the whole time. Squat with me, reverse lunge with me. You don't have to bring it up and down again. Here we go, let's start in that goblet squat. Give me a good squat, bring it low into your lunge. Up, goblet, lunge, up, goblet, reverse lunge, you got it. Woo! Oh, that's a good one, here we go. That's it, come on. We got it. Hang in there, we're gonna switch sides. That's halfway, there you go, other side. Let's start with that squat. It's easier for me to go there, then low, then high, then low with that reverse lunge. Got a squat. Good, start light on this weight too if you're learning the movements here. Don't throw around heavy weight until you've got the movement. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Just 15 seconds in between. We're moving fast, I know. Some of us, the heart rate can do it. For some of us, we'll need to pause. Three, two, and one. This is 30 seconds. You could take it 20 and build in a little cushion of 10 seconds rest in there, a little extra. Good, there you go. You do you, modify, find your challenge, do something, work at it. Remember, this could just be a push-up as well. This is a plyo, and it could be at the wall. Good. Whew, I would think I had the heat on in here. Three, two, and one. Good work. All right, rated, weighted ju jump squats. And we'll rest a little bit. You're doing awesome. All right, we're gonna have another circuit, very similar in dynamic. Then we'll get into strength. Three or slow it down at least. Here we go. There's a lot of strength here too. There's a lot of power. Jump, land soft. Notice how I'm landing with bent knees. All right, it's not stiff knees. Softness, and if your legs are too tired for that softness, then go to a squat to toes. Good. Sometimes I get tired and getting down back into the squat, it's, it's hard, so we need to go squat to toes. Just keep yourself safe. Three, two, and one. Good job. One minute's rest here. Now grab a weight here. Uh, let's see, we have swings. Kettlebell swings, dumbbell swing, whatever you have there. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna have a one-arm row. I'm gonna go 15 reps, or 15 weight, pound weight. And then we have a split jerk overhead. That's gonna be 15 or 20 pounds for me. I wanna try that 20. Ooh. We'll see how I do. Feeling a little tired, but we might be able to make it. There are 25 seconds left to go. <laughs> My heart rate is still high. If yours is still high, pause and give it a break. Again, we're all gonna feel differently based on where we are in our journey, based on the kind of weights we're using, okay? And just, and just where we are. So how much sleep we had, all those elements. So if you need more rest, please take it. I'm gonna keep mine elevated. It's kind of the endurance junkie in me. Grab one weight, here we go. We're gonna do two bent over rows with that right arm. One, towards that lower rib cage. Two, and on this one you're gonna pop and bring it up high, okay? So one, two, come up high, back down. High pull here, high row. But notice, I'm kind of leading with this, with the dumbbell as I pull up instead of my elbow this way, okay? One, two, Good. 
switch sides, same thing. One, two, high row or high pull, however you wanna look at it, and up, good. Two, upright row, high pull. Two of the rows up high towards that shoulder and up, good. One, two, notice I'm leading with my hand or bringing the elbow back, two, and up, good, nice work. All right, that's one. We have our split jerk, that's two dumbbells. Ooh, I don't know. Two dumbbells overhead. You can do just a push press to get used to this, okay, and reset, or you're gonna split your legs to overhead, okay? You gotta be able to lock out overhead. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Split, lock the elbows out, arms right over the shoulders. Walk it back in, reset. Here we go. Two, good. Walk it back in. Nice work. Three, good. Keep working. Doesn't matter which foot is forward. I will mix it up on my next one and do my other foot though. Um, if you're really pushing your max here with this, I would probably go with your dominant leg. I do like to switch it up and keep both sides kind of equally able to engage because naturally I don't want to go with that foot forward. All right, swinging next. Good old kettlebell swing down the center. We did this earlier on maybe day 48. Here we go. I have one dumbbell, you can use a kettlebell. Pop it up just towards that chin or face here for today. Good, push those hips back. Keep that weight right under the body. Squeeze those glutes, pop forward. That's it. Draw that stomach in, brace. That feeling that you had on your plank when we were practicing our plank is where you need to be. Right here, even though you're moving and breathing, okay? Time, nice work. I'm gonna grab another sip. That's a round. We have two more, okay? All right, find your way. Two rows to a high row, left foot forward. Here we go, one, two, up, good. One, two, high pull, good. One, two, or upright row, however you wanna look at it. And up, good. One, two, up, good. One, two, back by that rib cage. And up, keep moving. That's halfway, other side, same thing. Here we go, one, two to one here, up, good. One, two, up, one, two. Make sure that back is neutral when you're bent over here rowing and bring it high. So I'm really pulling up kind of towards that shoulder on this high row here. Whew. Upright row, which makes sense, right? Upright. There you go. Nice work. All right. Split jerk. I'm going to still stay with that same way. I'm going to have my left leg go forward. I know typically we just go with our dominant side. I'm going to go left leg forward just to practice. It's a little harder. That's good for my mind-body connection here. Here we go. Split it, reset. Remember, if that's too much today, just give me a little dip with the knees and press overhead, a little push press there. Good. Find that balance. Good, draw that stomach. We need a nice, solid core here, sturdy, stabilized. Whew. That's it, get those weights right up over the shoulders. Three, two, and one, rest. Good work, we have swings. All right, you can take it down the center here. I've got my right hand over my left. You can also hold it by the head, especially if it's smaller. Just be careful to keep a good grip. Here we go, let's swing. 30 seconds of work here. Squeeze the glutes. Before you even pop forward, I want you squeezing the whole way. Pop, that's it. If you're not feeling that, go lighter with your weight. You might be surprised at what you'll feel then. Good. Everybody wants to go more on this, yeah? Our glutes and hamstrings are super strong. It can handle the weight, but can our core? Can we draw in? Can we keep that stable core through the movement? And can we squeeze those glutes? That's the question you have to ask. If the answer is no, don't push the weight yet, okay? You should be feeling those muscles work. That's what you want, you want that engagement. 
All right, I'm gonna try a little heavier weight. We're gonna, we have that row to high row, right arm, left arm, okay? Two rows to an upright row. Here we go, three, two, and one. Give me one, two, whoop, good. One, two, this is our last round here. Stick with it. If that heart rate is up too much, please go ahead, take a little break. Pause me, get back to it. You're okay. That recovery, you'll be able to handle higher heart rates as you um, become fitter. And you'll be able to recover quicker. It's one of the beautiful things about exercising daily. All right, switch, other side, same thing. Row, row, upright, good. That's it. Two, five, good. One, good control. This is a little bit quicker. All right, quicker movements than what we normally do. A little bit more powerful, but still with good control. Don't lose that control. Three, two, and one. Rest, good job. All right, we're going into that split jerk. I'm gonna try this weight now. Go ahead and Pick which side you want to use, dominant or the other side. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Split, arms right up overhead, reset, back down. Split, good, lock it out over top. Shoulders down, good. There you go. That's it. I'm gonna change my lead foot here. You don't have to do that if that's not comfortable for you. I just like to do that because I feel the tug. All right, on these swings, I'm gonna go ahead and take a, my left hand on top as well, just to switch it up because it does pull a little bit more. So I always like to keep it even <laughs> on each side. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Pop those hips forward, push them back towards the back wall. Make sure that you have that neutral spine that we're not tucked here all rounded out, especially at the lumbar, that lower back. Good. Pop. Squeeze the bottom. Brace through the core. You got it. Eight seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, good job. One minute's rest here. Okay. We're gonna need all of our weights moving forward uh, on the rest of this. And I have six exercises. They're all very similar. They're all very similar to the six that we did and the muscle groups that we're gonna work. We're just gonna work them slightly differently and we're gonna slow it down. All right, so you can push what weight you, you know, what kind of weight you can do at this point, depending on how tired you are. We're gonna do a slide here. Um, just one dumbbell. We'll have about 15 seconds in between, not a lot of time. So we're gonna move quickly, picking up weights, putting them back down on this one. I'm gonna go with one dumbbell. Find your heaviest dumbbell or whatever you can use in this. We are gonna slide with that dumbbell over, over, back over, come to the center, we're alternating. Here we go out, slide, slide in. Okay, follow my lead. Grab that weight, here we go. Lateral step lunge. Slide back to the inside. Slide back to the outside. Step it in. Good. Step out. Lateral lunge. Slide. Slide. Step in. Good. Step out. Slide. Slide. Staying low. Step in. Good. Out. Slide in. Slide out. Step it in. Good. Try to keep that chest up. I realize that try not to round out that back as you do this. Neutral, neutral spine. And in, good. Eight seconds, these are a little bit longer. We're slowing it down a bit. Three, two, and one, rest, great job. We have our chest press, palms facing in. Grab two dumbbells, we'll do this from the floor. Palms in, five seconds here. 45 seconds of work, elbows stay in. We're gonna feel our triceps on this one. Here we go, press, weight comes right up over the shoulders, back down. Elbows tucked in, they should be right under your wrists. We're calling on our triceps a little bit more. That's it. 
now say this is too light. The weight you have is too light. You need a little push. Push them into a crush press. So press in and press out. You'll start to feel this a little bit more. My weight's a little light. I wish I would have brought in some others. So I'm gonna go ahead and crush it here, pushing in and out to add a little more tension and make this a little bit tougher. You got it, keep pressing. Come on, push in, push out. If you need to, maybe you don't need to. And time, nice work. Weights are down, we have a sumo squat. I'm gonna take my other weight here. Actually, I'm gonna take two 20s uh, just for a little bit more weight. Just depends on where you are. You can grab one weight here as well. Feet are wide, wider than shoulder, toes out. Here we go, we're working up and down. Good, now make sure you're dropping the bottom down. This is a squat, not a sumo deadlift where we push the bottom back, okay? I'm gonna use two weights here down the center just because they add up to 40 versus my 30 that I brought out. So these are ways to make it a little tougher. You can add one and a half squats, a couple pulses in there, find ways to kind of burn it up if the weight isn't there. Good, chest up. I should be able to see your chest, not the top of your head. Drop that bottom to the, to the floor. Three, two, and one. Rest, great job, great job. Rear fly, we will do singles, each arm. Love this one, get in the rear delt. We're gonna do thumbs up, so right here, support yourself on this one. Get a slight bend, keep that same bend, and bring it out to the side. Here we go. We're at 45 seconds on each side. So control it, slow it down. Don't rush it. No need. This is very lightweight. Five, eight. We shouldn't have to swing the weight. We shouldn't have to lift our body to lift the weight. Stay over here, kind of in a tabletop here. If I start to creep up this way and go up, I'm getting middle delt. All right, so get back this way. There you go, bend over that knee, use it for support. You can use a chair if you have one. We're almost there. We're gonna switch sides. Five, three, two, and one. Nice work, let's switch, other side. Thumbs out, okay, so palms are this, so we get this reverse grip. Thumbs are up towards the ceiling when we come out to the side here. Again, use your leg or a chair for, for support. Keep that bend. Make sure we're hinged here, that we're over our knee. Reaching into the rear delt there. Great job. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you come in. No swinging. I felt like I started to swing a little bit. This arm isn't quite where the other arm is. My weaker side. Lift and lower with control, lower with control. It's easy to drop that weight, don't do it. That's where Oh, you can gain more strength there as well, okay? All right, we have rest. We have a thruster, that's a squat to press. Oh boy, I'm gonna try to go with my 20s. This is a squat with two dumbbells. Use your legs to press overhead, reset. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Squat, press, reset. Squat, I'm using my legs. It's one fluid motion up to reset. Now, if your weights, again, are too easy. So having your legs in there, you barely feel your shoulders working. I want you to do a squat, stop here, then do your strict press with your shoulders. I'm not gonna try it with the 20s right now because I'm already tired. Here we go. So I'm using my legs because this weight is pretty tough. That's really what I like to use our thrusters for, but I understand that you probably don't have, some of us just don't have that kind of weight sitting around the house. So go ahead, pause here and then press. Okay, good work. We're gonna put our bands on real quick. If you have one, if you don't, don't worry about it. And we're gonna kick back here, okay? And you can do this without a band. Kick back, we're gonna stay on one side and then the other, right here. You can even hold onto the wall and just press out against that band. If you have another band at home, you could lay down and do that as well. Good. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Other side, I'm gonna try to balance on this. In, kick out against the band. Press out against it. Even if you don't have it, 
and you sit here and you kick out, you're gonna feel your glutes engaging, you're gonna feel that right side stabilizing. So go ahead, work here with me. Good, three, two, and one. Next time we might try to alternate between those. Great job, all right. We're gonna keep moving. We have two more rounds of this. All right, I'm just gonna keep us going. We're working these different muscle groups along the way, up or lower. We're gonna keep going. Step, slide here. Here we go, feet together, follow my lead. Lateral step or lunge. Slide to the inside, try to stay low. Slide to the outside, step it back in to start. Step out right, slide in, slide out, step in. Good, lateral lunge left, slide, slide, step in. That's it, just keep alternating for me. Slide in, slide out, step it in. Step out. Slide, slide, up, good. Out, slide, slide, in. You're doing awesome, good job. You can really do this one without weight as well. Just remember, everybody starts somewhere and together, rest, great job. Chest press, let's find those weights. Again, palms in, elbows in. This is gonna call in our triceps a little bit more. If your weights are too easy for that, Crush them, push them together, push them out. That's it, crush press. If your weights are too light here, with your palms in, elbows in. If you're like, eh, that doesn't feel that tough to me. I promise if you add that crush, and hear it pressing in and out, it's gonna feel different. Oh, good, that's it, come on. You're doing awesome. Push in and out. It's easy to let go of that and just work on the push out. I want you to crush it. Good. Come on. Three, two, and one. Woo, team. <laughs> I have a glisten going on, a sparkle. A donut sheen, no, whatever you want to call it. Sumo squats coming up here. Again, I'm gonna hold two for added weight. You can do one. Feet are wider than shoulder, toes are out. Those knees need to go in line with the toes. What do I mean by that? I don't want to be wide here with my toes straight and then my knees wanting to buckle out, okay? Make them line up, that's it. Up, down squats, nice and wide, toes out. Feel the inner thighs work here. You got it. Up, down. Woo! Working up a hunger. There we go. It's good and warm today. <laughs> Feels good. Three, two, and one. Oh, I love talking to people. We're all different. Our body temperature is what we like. Uh, Lynn, a little shout out to Lynn. I should, we were talking about that difference in people who enjoy the heat and would rather have it cooler. I know. Here we go, out to the side. I'll race in any kind of weather. I'll brave the weather, but let me tell you, give me heat any day. Here we go, out to the side. Thumbs are up. That reverse grip where that palm is facing out here. Make sure we're bent over and we're not up this way. There you go. With support, with control, both directions. Don't forget it. 45 seconds on each side, no joke here. Just do your best, pace yourself. Good, three more seconds. Great job. Other side, okay, same thing. Good control. You might find now, let's say, I don't talk about this much, but we ha I have this a lot with my clients where um, one side is considerably weaker than the other, especially if you've had an injury in your shoulder. Um, but maybe you find like, oh, I really can't lift the same weight. So not now, but typically what I'll do is start, start um, adding in another day on that side. Like, let's start on your bad side, lift as many as you can, then go to your good side, lift with it the weight that you can do, and then go back to the other 
and do a few more to get it caught up on strength. Does that make sense? Three, two, and one. It didn't really make sense when I said it out loud, but <laughs> if I did it with you, maybe I'll try to remind myself to do that during the stretch or send me a comment on what I'm talking about if you, if you need that adjustment. All right, Tatum, talk, talk, talk. Thrusters, oh boy, thrusters, squat the press here. If you have that heavier weight, it's one motion. If not, you're gonna pause and then press. So here's their one fluid motion overhead with heavy weight where the legs need to help. Light weight, you're gonna squat. Stop here, strict press overhead, reset. So the shoulders get some work in there too. Good work. Maybe you have something else there you can lift overhead. A BOSU, I love those. Anything, kind of add some weight to make it a little tougher so you have to use those legs to press. Make sure you reset back to your shoulders before you start again. So I'm gonna press, get it back to my shoulders, then go again. That's it, nice work. Three, two, and one. Great job. Woo! I'm gonna put that band back on. We're gonna try to alternate that kick back a little bit, bent over. If you don't have a band, you're still standing here, you can tap back here if you want, or kick up and out with balance, okay? Here we go. We're working, and I'm gonna alternate. I may just hold on a little bit here and alternate between each leg. That's it, keep marching it out. Again, you can tap and extend out here with balance or kick it out and just work on stability and balance, good. That's it, keep pushing, feel that bottom. Woo, 15 seconds to go here. Maybe the only time you hear me say, woo. All right, <laughs> come on, woo lady. All right, five seconds, we're at lateral lunge. This is our last round, now look. Again, modify. Here we go, you got this by now. We're gonna step, and then I'll talk. Slide, slide back out before you push back in, okay? One more time, step, slide, slide back in. If you're just getting started, Three rounds here after everything else may seem like too much. You might be totally zapped by now. Don't be hard on yourself. That means you worked hard. It means you made it. It means you're making changes, okay? You either drop your weight and keep working with us, change the interval, bring it down, or you say, you know what? That was good for today. I feel good. I feel like I don't need to go any further. If I go further, I feel like I'm gonna hurt myself. It's time to stop. Again, I know, there are other trainers that make fun of me and say I'm just too easy. Come down to the floor, palms in, or crush press it. Three, two, and one. I'm not trying to get you to make excuses for yourself. You showed up, you did the workout. You don't seem like the person to make excuses if you're here, all right? And neither are my clients that show up. But we have to listen to our bodies, we have to know if we want to continue to do this every day, if we want to better our health, if we want to be strong, safe, mobile, flexible, all those things, agile, we have to be careful when we're working. So no, if you have any questions about something that's bothering you when you lift, maybe an elbow started acting up, maybe it's a shoulder, maybe you pulled something in your calf, let me know, we'll talk about it. Three, two, and one, rest. Just don't continue to injure yourself and be out for the long haul, because guess what? Coming back to it's gonna be a lot harder than if you just taken time to stop. Or, oh, sumo squats, everyone, sumo squats. If you've just taken time to stop, reduce your weight, the intervals, or something, maybe it's only three or four days that you need rest. If you get injured, it could be a lot longer, so just, Especially if you start to feel a twinge, a pain, something going on, let me know. We can address that issue or try to before it gets out of hand, keep you on track. That's my goal, to keep you consistent. Honestly, just keep you consistent. That's why I'm kind of easy in here on you and telling you things because 
you gotta have energy to come back the next day. So play off the energy of the day. Three, two, and one, right? There are days I'm tired and I know it's time to scale it back. There are days that I feel like a superhero, superwoman, and I can do a lot more. We have our rear fly. Here we go. We're getting very close, team. Three more exercises and we're out of here. Well, plus a cool down. Here you go. Lift and lower with control. This isn't fast. This isn't swinging. We're not truly flying and flapping, all right? And this body is not moving with the arm. Good. Control. Anywho, just be safe. Ask questions along the way. Your question may help somebody else. Your comment may help somebody else. So don't worry about it. Isn't that what teachers say? <laughs> Sorry, I just heard something. It sounded like it was falling in here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, halfway, switch to the other side. Here we go, support yourself. Out to the side here, good control. Keep that, uh, that bend in the elbow the same, don't change it up. It's extended, but there's a soft bend there. It's not locked out straight. Good, I love this one. I had an injury to my shoulder years ago and there are a couple on top of this one, but this is one of my favorites for getting it back. It was, it just feels good. <laughs> sure, Tata, what are you talking about? Maybe because I healed and I got better with the proper strength and PT. There you go, rest, nice work. Oh, thruster, did I feel like we just did that one? <laughs> feels like we were just here. We were, all right. Pick up your weights, two more of this and the kickbacks. Squat to press. You're doing awesome. I know I got a good sweat going on without, I mean, we did the power at the beginning. Moving quick. Whew. That's it. And reset. Exhale. Reset. Take an inhale. Good. You're halfway, keep working with me. Oh, I feel it too, trust me. I know I talk a lot. People ask me how I do it. It's what gets me through it, honestly. It's what gets me through it. If I didn't talk, I think I would be thinking about a lot more. <laughs> Hopefully I distract you as well. Hey, <laughs> oh, but I want you still maintaining form and thinking about what you're feeling, but I don't want those negative thoughts going. Here we go. We're gonna kick it back, press back, either with the foot above ground or at the ground. Whatever feels right to you, okay? It just really depends on your stability and balance. And I'm gonna switch that leg as I step down and kick back. Good. Kick it back, almost like what we do in kickboxing here. Reach back, you can give it a little twist and turn. Extend against the band, it's tough. That bottom is feeling strong. Engage, 13 seconds here. Kick, good. Remember the other one, modified tap. If you don't have the bands, don't worry about it, but I do suggest getting you some bands. Go ahead, treat yourself. Woo, ah, that's it. Team, you did it. Great job, we did it, we got it. Let's grab a sip of water. We'll stretch out just a bit here before I let you go. And don't forget to stretch. I know. I, uh, <laughs> I'm not great at it either because you know what? I enjoy this part a lot more than I um, enjoy the stretching. I, I enjoy the stretching, but when it comes down to which one I'm gonna choose, okay? Let's go ahead, let's stand tall. Let's just do a little quad stretch. Stand tall, grab that ankle right here. Don't lean and give in to it. Don't arch here. Kind of tuck even your tailbone and squeeze your glutes. Get a good stretch down the front of the quads there. And breathe, remember to breathe. Not just from your chest, big deep breaths. Helps for me to breathe through my nose and then out my mouth. Let's switch other side. Stand 
stand tall. Ooh, good work, good work. Let's go ahead and reach behind. You know, I always do this one. Interlace those fingers. You can grab your towel on each side here if you have trouble reaching back and getting those fingers to touch and interlace. We're gonna come here, get a good chest stretch, and then we're gonna wrap it around. If you're not there, just hold it here or grab your towel a little wider. Come fall over that knee. I'm kind of resting my chest there, letting those arms fall over. Good stretch. Nice work. Let's gently come down, bring that right knee down. This left hand can come to the floor, your foot, your ankle, and we're gonna push in this arm against the leg, the leg against the arm. Give me a good twist looking up. If that feels like too much here, go ahead, bring those palms together and push in. Either way, see I almost feel, now I can get a really good press, kind of feel it a little bit more because I'm not focused on this arm up above. So you do you, modify, find your challenge. Stretching is challenging to me no matter what I do. <laughs> All right, good job. Let's turn around and do this other side here. Oh, and I almost forget what we did first on this, and I knew that would happen. Let's go ahead and just twist here, palms together if you'd like. Good, bring that arm down if you want, look up, don't worry about it if you need to stay here, which you think I do on this side. Good work, all right, let's come on up. Let's do an IT band stretch, right foot over left, slide those Hips right, come on down. Good, bring the other foot around. Hips go left, slide right, oh boy. Oh, you know what it is, I'm hungry. My mind is kind of, this happens. If any of you race, if you're runners and you're an endurance athlete, I will tell you, you gotta practice your nutrition, okay? Because when you get hungry, when the carbs start to go down, your mind starts to go negative or it starts to flip around, you lose focus. That's usually a good sign that you need to fuel again. Just a little tip. All right, let's come down to the floor. Not a lot of time. Go ahead, butterfly. I don't know, I guess my legs. I really wanna work the legs here in this stretch, but we'll get to one more, oh, I remember what we, <laughs> we'll come back up here. Hang out with me here. You can use your elbows to push down. You can sit tall. Good, arms down wide. Let those knees fall side to side. Look the opposite direction of your knees. Bring them up over the top. Gently place them down. Look the opposite direction. Take one big breath. Lift, rotate, look the opposite direction, take a deep breath. Up and over, last one. Good. Gently rock those knees in, just gently, not too far. Maybe give them a hug if you're there. All right, stretch those legs out, arms out by your side. Give me three deep breaths, just three, I know. You wanna go, timer set. Let's go ahead though, three deep breaths before you go. Take that time. All right, that's it. I won't hold you. If that felt good, stay there. Do some more breathing for me. I hope to see you on day 51. Phew, we are almost there. I am super, super excited to celebrate our one year on YouTube at the end of May. So keep um, 
staying on here with us. We're going to have uh, t-shirts coming out soon too. Give us a few weeks on that. So if you're interested in a TXT uh, shirt, be sure to check back with us. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.